Eight, and we're here for a new competition for Southfield Esports. Pro already looking to go for the peak itself. Wits gonna be dashing all the way in for Team Secret. Composition is with Dubstep together. It's Wits on the jet, Dubstep on the KO. So a bit more of that flexibility being seen here for Team Secret. My eyes truly opened up though towards that Southfield side. Not only do they even change over to that Cypher, but they also move from the Astra to the Omen. So a bit more speed, a bit more of that execution that they're looking forward to, and perhaps a post match scenario that they can stifle. But Farcom, where did he even come from? And as Assist tries to slide on in, it's a little too late. Deep in the night, stealing that one away. Dispenser also finding the frag on the throw there. Papi Chula, though, answers back. The team secrets. They have the advantage. Sudden surprise there from the Astra. SBE scramble Almost to make it towards A site instead. But when they play this picking style, it's not going to work out for the composition. As if trying to make his way on in. Frenzy on in hand. He knows that Wits is somewhere here within the site, but they have no real idea that Porkum is towards the sewer. It's like Porkum able to find one. Jolly good for one, though, but Wits not going to connect on that paranoia. As Dubstep will clean up house for him, keeping him safe. And Team Secret start off with a very decisive defensive round. And just a stall really hurting South of Esports. You look at the a Neon composition, you know that Flippy wants to enable the push from Aziz. You know that Ja is there to try and throw out the quick smokes and quick paranoia and call it a day. But what happens when Team Secrets are, are the ones on the adventure? The expedition towards the middle already putting a stop to SBE. Simple presence into simple execution. And Team Secret able to really take advantage of the low period there for Southfield Esports. Caught napping, caught off guard, Borkum catching two in the round. But here we go again. Full eco. Actually from the side of SBE. Classics only. They want to just get the round over with. They're just going to be walking into the Spencer's lair. The turret is there. The star is... The Nano's farm rather. And the star together. And it says can't even make it through to the other side. Dubstep. Quick and clean here. Execution. And just Close. nothing that Southfield can even get going to Ray on these eco rounds out. This is a very worrying sign for Southfield decks. Typically, when we see them lose these ecos against most other teams, they make it very close. Sometimes they even win the darn thing, but not against Team Secret, who have been flawlessly one after the other, just decisively winning these eco rounds of theirs, anti eco rounds against Southfield with not really much of a convincing fight put up on the opposite side. So. Be able to farm up the young and they can't burn Team Secrets in that case. On, the, on this attacking side, you might think that a Neon would benefit, but we're not really seeing shades of that just yet. And now the shades of the Operator come in through for Wits. Let's see if he can handle the speed potential of Southfield Esports. Dashing on away into the wall. We do have the scan still. And SBE now able to get that threat assessment on. They know. Wits is ready with the operator on the other side, so they have to be careful if they're gonna be beating like this. Wits though, no fear whatsoever! And you can see the goal of the guy willing to make the play work. So that's one down for SBE. Pace yet again, absolutely stifled here. It's like a rocky road, not the ice cream, but really the roads in the province that you are struggling to make your car work on. After shock down into play, here we go with the flash to counter the push. And one more time, Southfield Esports, they want to get that green light, but someone in the pedestrian lane keeps pressing the button and this forces them to stop in their traps. The scans are there, Team Secret is ready, and this is not looking too good for SBE, because there you go, Wits finds Flippy, and Sportsman is there, Pro with a fight on the Wits, Dispensers there, Pro gets get two, the Dubstep's still in the corner though. And it's just bad news bears for SBE yet again. Pinch ready for Borkum. Pro is anticipating it. But one swing to rule them all. Left. One kill to bind them. And one timing to be perfected here by Borkum as Southfield Esports has to concede this round by this point. Yeah, this, this round is done. No time left. As soon as Pro makes contact, Borkum's going to swing. They're all the way from the lobby. This round is done. He makes noise, the knife connects as well, Dubstep yeah. confirms it. Really, just that stall that Team Secret are so proficient at enforcing, on their bonus especially, has been killing Southbelt on their attacking side here. They can't get Aziz going because in the first place, he's been being taken on down or being stopped by the hey. amount of utility that Team Secret throw at them. And usually, we talk about the game of stalls, for Southfield Esports, when they have their ultimate, suddenly they're gonna use it to stifle the push of the opposition. And then from that point on, it's like, nope, you're not gonna get in here. But what if we take that concept to a next level, right? What if we connect the dots 
a big conspiracy here, and you open your eyes, and it's Team Secret just using normal util. And South South Esports is a team that isn't gonna be walking into that one. They don't want to run into Team Secret's open arms with a disadvantage, basically. At that point on, the game of times just is able to tie, get tied up here by Team Secret. Borkum ready, Pro goes down. A bit of a ass here to the mechanics if the car is ready, but apparently it's still yes. right there. Lifted up on station to exist, lifting up the spirits of SBE. Picking up the gun, lockdown is there with the whipping the shot. Quite oh, crucial because he's allowed to this to take a corner, take an angle, and find three for himself. Watch out for this guy because the speed that can kill will come from assist for SBE. One enemy remaining. The platform. Jesse Bash getting ready, but he's not ready for the shot to connect. Just so now, the only one left. One v three scenario. Flipping gonna go on down. But it's two v one. The constant though of SBE hitting their mark. Assist inside the smoke, but he comes on out to come and clean for SBE. A thrifty win. This is what we're talking about for SBE. They can make the contest happen and they can win the rounds thanks to Aziz. And especially in an eco, taking what he wants from them here, Aziz on that neon. Popping off for a 4K. Pro, I don't know about that one. Idly walking on in, but when Aziz comes online, that's what they look for most folks. I'm gonna say time and time over again. Over any other player. As vulnerable, as formidable as everybody on this roster is. It's when Aziz gets going and they enable him to get going that he can do the best. Three to one. They as a whole have to ride off of this operator though early. Coming from which he goes out to stun, but Aziz, wild shots. Jesse Bash using the movement, not you really get hit and you connect on those shots, just dashing left and right. Sending ahead. Yeah, huge counter here by Team Secret. Shut down Aziz, shut down the problem. And we see it there with second operator net now in hand. Second time though, whipping into the side line. But Spencer does it with that shot. Don't make teleport play. Fork and those seeds are coming. And it's a bit of that astral rejection in the future. Exactly but Papa on with. They go for a little, an awkward high five. One went for the fist bump, that one went for the open you. hand, but Borkum able to slap away Flippy there. 3v1 scenario, and even with all the intel in the world, it's not enough for Papi Chulo. Borkum with the 3k team secret now with the three round gap. And at least they're able to save the operator here as TS demand yet again how this defense will dictate what SBE can get to. Aziz committing on that spray really killed him against a Spectre like that at range. Even though Spectre might be a bit nullified from long range. It's so difficult to try and hit those shots. And Jesse Vash is abusing, really, the movement that that Spectre provides you. There's really no other much support from that. There was a stun. There was that bolt line coming in from Flippy. But how much else? Nobody really there for a trade frag. If anybody was able to peek with the timing, things could have worked out a bit better. But... South built once again on a force buy, one that they have successfully converted once, but not really much more else. They have to go fast into this because when they don't, that's when things look dicey. But due to this zero point, just stops them in their tracks. And we see that a lot from Jesse Vash, honestly. When you have one angle being held by the op, he's willing to play into a long. What happens though is instead of the usual timing you have versus the Chet. I do believe you have slightly a bit more of time versus the Neon because the high gear stows away the guns, right? So from that point on, that can't be the badge. Wits! Come on. I know Wits can hit these shots. I believe in him. We all believe in him. It's getting a little oh. costly, but now the cost has been sunk. The fallacy has been cleaned up. And at this point on, Team Secret will find the frag that they need. Auto assist Borkum hanging on back over the fight. SBE, they're trying to get the hell out of here, but there's no escape from this room! A clash of champions, but it's Team Secret still holding on now to the crown and into the lead. A flawless way to win, building up that back. The usual tricks and the usual trades that Southfield Esports have been relying on to win the game as a whole. Not working against Team Secret whatsoever. Struggling here so far. Another gun round, and dare I say, if they lose this gun round, Dax, this could be looking pretty dire for Southfield. Attacking side here in Haven is one you really have to capitalize on, and... Their compositions should benefit from today. this half, but this hasn't been looking that way. We've got the Neon to try and shake things up, and the only round that has looked spectacular from them is where they really get to set the pace and take things up. But when things are slowed down, when they get put on that stall, Team Secret just so much more formidable in making sure that they are really no utilizing the strengths of the comp here that Team Secret bring on. And 
one this down. gets a oh, kill, but <gasps> eagerly watching the sights of Wits. Uh, Wits now ready to hit those shots. Only round that South Blade Sports has been able to take has been the round they're able to take that space towards Seaside. And this could have been it thanks to the Huntless Fury, but Wits now with the denial. Nice swing though there from Pro able to avoid the shot and Wits holding on to the platform and really the stage centered in for him. John Blippi though still making the combat happen. Onto the site we go for them. Actually just gonna be a fake here. They're watching out for the garage. They know the presence of the pulses from dubstep. Courtesy of the null command. They also now know where Jesse Bash will come from. So a game of stalls right now. Team Secret waiting for the queue when to strike Flippy though. Looking to just commit I onto this. It. Ja even creeping on towards the garage. But the rolling thunder is there. And you can see it. Dubstep being lifted up to the high heavens. Flippy though with a flying onto boats. And flips the script. And flips the momentum back in South Philly Sports' favor. That's a win in their books. And that's a win they needed desperately. 5-2 to two now. And at the very least, they get the good read on where Team Secret was coming from in that last bit there. He had no real idea. In the first place of Dubstep was going to be there towards Lux, but with Flippy popping that Rolling Thunder, perfect timing just to catch Dubstep off guard, and might I say, he wasn't hit by that, and who knows how this round could have went, could have still been clutched out and thrown in Team Secret's favor, but Operator out for Wits once again, he has been a deadly force that Southwood have yet to try and dismantle, or been at least successful in dismantling. And Borkin, he pops his smoke to Southwood, they have to know that he loves playing these Bill's angles. Uh, overdrive go into play and security a while ago from Flippy oh. looking for more assertion now for South Philly Sports with Spencer something down the overdrive put a little black out there for South Philly Sports but now we wake on up for SBE wins though finding Poppy Chula but Ja is right there in front of you eyes wide open now and South Philly Sports you make Spike it towards planted. that C site over again onto the corner Flippy knows this is a position that he can get away with his abilities if ever but Jesse Bash Oh, so conniving, like a ninja creeping on closer and closer. Infiltration, isolation, oh! and Jesse Vash finding the 1v1s anyway. All the duels in the world, they come and clean for Jesse Vash, oh! and he's not done taking names, taking these frags, and taking the round for Team Secrets. They swing one after the other, but Jesse Vash just waiting in the back of the site like a serpent. Nobody expecting him to be hiding in plain view. And that he does. Pro, as soon as he went for that peak, Gun. try and get information, Jesse Bash sprung on him, expected and anticipated Ja to be on the back of the site to swing, and that he did. Southville, that could crumble them under attacking half when they needed this round so desperately. Jesse Bash, all alone, Silence. takes this remaining. round. I remember that time I went to a parade, and somehow one of the, the velvet ropes, it was unlocked, so I ended up going in. And I was sitting near like the, the campus's president. And the fun fact was, I didn't even study at that school. So I was like, hello, nice to meet you. I'm here too. <laughs> and that was just it. I'm here too. Apparently, I'm not part of your institution. And that was the whole thing. Jesse Vash, somehow, someway, got in. The door was wide open. No security guy had to say, ma'am, sir, where's your ID? And from that point on, he was just uh, a member of South Police Sports until he decided, okay, let's just shoot them one by one. And, and that's... Really, the problem right now for South Philly Esports. We we see it overall in the series. These opportunities taken more by Team Secret. The ambition a lot more successful for Team Secret. And even if South Philly Esports go for some of the commitment, they know what the win condition is to get that site. Team Secret, they're the ones understanding how to play this retake even better. From start to finish, it's just manipulation right now by Team Secret. And Jesse Vash, man, he has, he only has four kills, but all four of those takedowns right now mm -hmm. have been impactful. That one kill onto Aziz a while ago, right, on yeah. A-Long, and those three on C-Long, those are game-winner kills, or round-winner kills from Jesse Vash. I think the bigger problem there in that round from South Belt was there was really no, really no active, like, uh, info gathering. They're just waiting and holding angles, and in that case, they left a lot of brutal angles left open. And Allowed Team Secret to find those small openings to really get the round. Hunter's Fury though from Jesse Vash could be deadly. Sofon is gonna connect on one, tagging them up even more so to make these rifles a lot more deadly. And Dubs if he knows what to do in this situation. Gets that kill on the pro. Taking pro down is a big thing for them.
don't have that active information gathering anymore as we've talked about. Josh has a rifle, has to hold on to this. Smoke out to give them some sort of concealment as this plane inside the smoke could work out but could crumble down. They have some idea. They walk in as this. He's going to be able to get still. The flash comes on now. John, the swing on the Borkum. It's all in Jesse Vash. We've seen him in 1v3 Zodax and he knows where Flippy is. Spamming towards Gom. Oh, the oh. wide swing towards Gom. And Jesse Vash. Jesse. He does it again. A 4K ROT clutch on the B site. This is all his. Clutch. How many times do we witness this? How many times will he do it? As many times as Team Secret needs. And Jesse Bash, all in back and all in for Team Secret, man. 7 to 2. I think this is just a statement being made by Team Secret. And Daddy Bash has just brought in the game like this, man. It's just. Absolutely, a massacre waiting to happen yet again, and that looked to be the route for the hospital. Assist, just shrugging off the bullets there from Dubstep and playing possum inside the smoke. But all you need is Jesse Bash to come back in and get the win. We've seen it time and time and time again right now in this series. He really is shining as bright as he can. I say he's he is like a fine wine, but it's crazy to think that. Any esports he touch, touches in the VH scene, it's just absolutely golden for him. So, well, that's why he's one of the names that has been known all these years, probably like a decade already in the making. As Team Secrets, they have quite the handful of the lead South Pole Esports, though. A team that can shrug off a loss like that. A team that has that resiliency. And a team right now that has to deal with a lockdown on the other side. They have the rifles though. And this is looking for a target. There we go with the dark. Jesse Bash actually going on in with the space. But this is yet again in the corner. And Flippy finding the frags anyway. Good angle to get the two. The SBE knows that their life is a little bit easier after that. And Wits catching out Jaw anyway. Links right now being controlled here by Team Secret. But South of the Esports have the man advantages. This is the quarter. But the Fencer able to still get the clock on him anyway. Pro right now over there in the back of the side. He finds two. He finds three. And really, those with experience are getting the wisdom and the wins for their teams. A while ago, it was Jesse Bash. Now, it's pro SBE. Come back with a vengeance there. These rounds are so close, Dax. And that is two, those are two rounds that it shouldn't have been won by Team Secret, but they still take it. We could have been very much so looking at like a 5-5 five to five scoreline right now. And who knows how things could have gone. South built have to shrug off all that bad juju they built up from the previous rounds. No real ultimates by Team Secret here. To try and fight back with them. So South Belt have to convert this. This cannot be another opportunity that should be theirs to be taken away. Oh, South Belt Esports. They need to make these opportunities happen and fast. We saw it a while ago. A rally there in the end of the first half. Assist though. Not actually catching out Borkum in time. with to be able to make the frenzy work. Looking at Pro. Do have the rifle. Do have the ultimate. But there's still a little bit of fight here from Team Team. Fighting the pistols anyway. Dubstep though. Out in the open just to die. Jesse Vash all the way from Sea Long. Spike planted. Well, with the Sheriff. There's only one Ooh. thing to say here. Jesse Vash. Is it time Again. Yet again, Ja, not expecting this, but Flippy is, and so long, Space Cowboy. Into the stars, SBE will reach, and they are able Last to grasp another round in their palms. My, my heart was pumping for that one. Once I saw Jesse Vash once again in another 1v3, my goodness, he's done it twice. Almost. Giving the opportunity for a third. Maybe with a rifle, who knows how things have gone. Maybe with a vandal in his hands, could have pulled out a triple hat trick in the game. Can revert the successful anti eco team oh. secret. They can peg them again to eight to four and pin them here once, like they did on bind, and then win the pistol right after. This could be another just avalanche into a decisive win for them. Yeah, there's still a possibility for both sides here. I think for Team Secret right now, they take this time out just because they can before we go into the first half. But beyond that, it has been. A lot of heroics right now from Team Secret, and it it really goes to show that for South Pole Esports, this is a bit more effective than what they did recently against Team Secret. We still remember that 13-0, and I do like the whole move forward together status of SPE. You can see it that that's how they get the overrun on the operator. That's how they make the side takes happen, and it gives them that chance in the first place. So 
I'm looking at Team Secret right now. They have the advantage, yes. But it isn't as sure as it was the last time. And for them, a round that is convincing has to be a round where they prevent again Southwood Esports from making it to the site in, in a secure fashion. So let's see. The Wit can do it here. Off in hand. The stun is there though. It's the perfect timing courtesy of Assist. Ooh. Does take some damage though, but at least he survives and Wit's dashing on away to live to fight another minute. That ambition almost rewarded with an early pick there. A plea for Assist. He did pre-spot that and pre-anticipate it. Placing one of his relay bolts towards that angle. Wits spotted out now. They know the operator is here. Rolling Thunder will connect, but they're going to be safe. So all they have to really do here is take space. As it, he has to go in big. He can spy it out. The Borkum knows what's up. Go, go, go. He uses the last relay bolt he's got to try and fend him off or at least keep him at bay. They have to be careful of the CT position because Wits is waiting. Spike Borkum gets that kill on Aziz speaking here from the garage. Ambitulo on the swing gets one. But the Spencer does it so with a save. Quick trade from Pro though. They don't have a kill to work with. A stub step does take down Pro. Rather flippy. Pro takes him on down. Trying to fake out the res here. Switz operator in hand. Denies that recon bot from happening. Baits him fully into shooting it for the information. And Witz, perfect now. 1v3. Ja, this is going to be way too difficult for him to win. Even with what he's got. He swings a bit wide, but Witz holding the angle close. 8 to 4. Peg near once again, Dax. Can they do it? Yeah, South the least point. Sarong out to dry there, basically. And Team Secret. You can look at Jesse Vash, King of Glutches, King of Lineups, Wits though. Commanding presence Switching there with the sides. operator, making his mark. And I was worried there for Team Secret, they let that 5v5 rate take happen, but suddenly, you know, the Null Command comes on in, Dubstep is right there, piling on the pressure, and he's really a beacon of attention from that point on that South of Esports needs to watch out for. But look at this position, it's perfect really for Team Secret. They can res, they can use the res bait and still stay into cover, and they just made the play work just by budging up like that. As the Dubstep was a lighthouse, and with something in the sea there for Team Secrets, you can see that they can take advantage of those situations. Now, ball on the court of Southfield Esports. They're on the defense. We've seen the struggles last time. I have to ask you here, Black and Blue, what now for SBE? They've got to throw something. They've got to throw a wrench in the spokes here with Team Secret because. Something's up, and these clutches come from Jesse Vash. Yes, that's because of his exemplary play, but also because of some small mistakes here from Southfield that have absolutely dire consequences. You see they're liking that 1v3 towards the B site. Flippy and Ja not timing their swing at the same time or using utility to help enable that even in 1v2. Crucial in that other clutch towards C, the C site itself. Just not really having any active info gathering they were surprised by where Jesse Vash was able to position himself, and that was more than enough for Jesse Vash to capitalize on. So, those type of things, basic mistakes from both of these veteran teams, really punishing Southbuilt more than anything. And yeah. it seems like for Southbuilt Esports, as soon as they get their tide to turn the battle back in their favor, Team Secret just has a sudden plan out of nowhere to bother that in the first place. Even, even though like lose wits there for Team Secret, doesn't matter. They still have a plan with Jesse Vash, they still have a plan with Dubstep. And because there is a bit more of that alleviation for wits, there were a few rounds where he was whiffing, but he knew that his team was reliable. He knew that he, he would get that time and the space to make the operator work. And then by the end of the half, he was just popping off and getting those names. Borkum too. We haven't really gotten to talk about too much about Borkum Dispenser because Vash and Dubstep have been quite the bothersome experience for SBE, but these guys are finding the kills from angles when Saddle Esports takes the site. And in all honesty, that's what keeps Deep Secret in contention in those clutch situations to give a chance to whoever is left behind. And it seems like that game of passes right now is just keeping on going for Team Secret. Southfield Esports! Let's see if they can shoot that ball and shoot towards that A site now here. They need this pistol round. Dax, and it's going to be very difficult for them Here. to try and fend this off with just you know, the two initiators they have on this A site. So, it'd be very dire constraints they've placed upon themselves. No real information gathered. Just something you never really want when Here. you have you know, two initiators on the same site. They do hear this recon. Rather, it's Aldrone coming his way pro, but with him being on this committed position, it could spell doom for him, especially if the utility is dropped towards his position. Dubstep does have his zero point now to try and storm over this side. Here comes out the dash. 
with taking some early damage, but oh, that is a great recon dart. Still though, assist spamming through the smoke. He gets an early pick. And now I think secret, rather SP, playing for that retake. Yeah, beautiful find there. Courtesy of Pro now. Shot flash flying on by Pro over onto the high ground yet again. Bit of a man in the high tower here and as the Sova watches out for any of these angles. SPE regrouping before striking. So quick little union right now from SPE. Now's the day to go for their demands and you can see it here. Borkum holding the line, flipping the label to blow up Borkum. That Gone in, slide is there for the Spencer the making the turret, making a frenzy, and we've seen him done it before against SPE. Dumps it with a find on the throw, dumps it with a find on the flippy, and Team Secret find the win anyway. After everything is said and done, MVP with the turret, sure, but Team Secret they just hold the line and they had no fear whatsoever with SPE barreling down at them. That was looking like a pretty proficient retake coming from South Build, but. <laughs> One turret just shredded things down, and the fact that they couldn't kill Borgum in enough time, like the fact he was still alive here for so long, even with that aftershock exploding in front of him, was just such a big thing. You can see you could find the small gaps that they can to really outplay whatever is thrown at them. This is what I said, Dax. They win this pistol round. This could be another avalanche towards the end. It's not just the avalanche here, man. It's a tsunami waiting to happen. It's the big one that we're getting here right now. The elements are in favor of Team Secrets. And the natural order looking to be restored in the PH scene if this keeps up. But Southwind Esports, of course, they're not done. They can fight full eco right now. And they're falling here. Nice strike from Pro in the heart of Team Secret. But everyone gets a kill. Everyone gets on the board. And now. The magic number is three here, my friend. Three more, and Team Secret get back to APAC. Looking very dangerous. Flawless anti-ecos over and over for Team Secret. You rarely see a round where they even lose those. So South built gun round. They've been successful in converting these for the most part, but still quite a struggle when they do. This is a Team Secret Time squad. Single rifle from dubstep. That Vandal in his hand, solo Vandal. Could be the game changer in this, and dare I say it, if they win this, bring it 11 to 4, this game is done. We'll see if South Bill Esports can still find it in them. Even in Eagle States, there's a chance that they have those shares, but this is the best chance that they have here. As Wits looking to go for the plant, felt the presence nearby, but the didn't spot him there. And Wits, a great escape to get the hell out of there in the way. Throw it all away, we move over to oh. that A site because Borkum! Catching Pro off guard, he wanted to be cheeky onto A long, but Borkum will just stay so long there to Chris's friend and Flippy now on the other side. Team Secret, foothold now established. This is the beachhead here. And truly, this is D Day of here for Team Secret. Why was he that far forward if he was the only player on site? Being caught off guard here, those mistakes once again. And here, look at the flank. Nobody's gonna oh, no. it, right? Jesse Bash is gonna run them all oh! down! And a triple goes in Jesse Bash's way. A flawless bonus! Dax, this is looking deadly. The avalanche has begun. It's beginning to crumble on South Built. Oh, and they can feel it just turning in their favor. Mow him down, run and gun, gravity well to line them all up. And if you're an anime fan, probably these guys just isekai there by Jesse Bash. Oh. As he was that truck couldn't able to run them over. But this was just perfectly timed by Team Secret. And I think for South Bell Esports, yeah. they can feel the pressure. Some rare mistakes to walk in all like that against Any Astra. Event. They should know the star setup. They should know that that is coming. And as soon as that happens, no one watching the flag. Jesse Bash again and again. Just finding these opportunities that haven't been found really by South Bell Esports. He has been the sneakiest one. He has been the most clutch one. And apparently right now, he's the one who can make the run and gun for the best. But job with the paranoia. And there is just nothing to fear whatsoever. This is Team Secret after group therapy. They have felt the pain of that stage one. And now they are acclimated. They have found redemption. They have found inner peace. And they're looking to make SDE into scraps and pieces instead. Jesse Bash, yet 
again. How many times do we have to say his name? Years and years of experience and years and years of history to be made even more so. Dubstep though to catch that last frag, but this is it. One more for Team Secret and they are into the region. APAC at the cusp of it. Almost assuredly now true for them as South built. Barring an incredible comeback here, which could be a tall task even for players, even for a team of their caliber. It's going to be so, so far, so much, so difficult to try and get here. Not an operator in hand, not an operator in sight. And the Team Secret just completely decimating them. Jesse Vash has to be the MVP of this game oh, at the end theory. of it. He was in that head-to-head -head from the get-go. And might as well, he deserves <laughs> the show at the end as well. Yeah, quick little big head mode there from the past, but I have to agree with you. The impact has been sublime here in this map. He was top fragging also a while ago on bind. And between him and Dubstep, they have the best KDs right now for Team Secrets. So is this it? The coup de grace waiting to happen. And the first cut has already been drawn. Blood flowing from the wrist here of Southfield Esports as Histo able to stay there in sanity. But dubstep now, breaking his mind and breaking his face. Morkamo over onto the Here's Bangle sees two already! And this is looking to be it for Team Secret. Back to where they belong! And that's APAC, which they call home. 30 to 4, yet again! Team Secret with a commanding 2-0 to take it to the next level and raise the bar one more time for the PA scene. A statement win here from Team Secret. They are in for it, and it's no joking matter. Group stages, they win that, but to do it here in the playoffs once more, proves that they are the superior team they are rightfully so looking to crown themselves as the champions once again here in team secret what a performance two 13 fours back to back to back not even talking about how amazing jesse vash played throughout that entire series and the clutches he had on haven alone jesse vash touches the game he's immediately good at it and his history speaks volumes right now just as his impact in this game spoke volumes to the rounds where team secrets are just able to win it and this is just classic team secret against all odds they will still win the round against all odds that they can still find a way to make the play work and now with them fully back in the driver's seat i think we can just pass it over to them they aren't the champions after at as of now South of Esports still having their life in the lower bracket, but based from this performance, based on their group stage run, they are the true kings of the PH just from this point on. And whatever doubt that may have been there from anyone and everyone, even if there was a small seed after losing against Alpha Esports, that has to be washed away in its heights of Team Secret. In the end, Borkum taking the top frag there, but look at the KDs from Jesse Bash and Dubstep. 3.5. 4.6, both alive there. I love how Borkum just knowing the last angle to win it all, to just slay the le the remaining members of SBE. And they gave it a good old college try. I think Aziz really had some great impact in a few rounds here and there, especially taking command for SBE. But the problem is that was few and far between. They got less than a handful of rounds for both maps, man. And it just goes to show for Team Secret, this is just their tournament to win by this point. Yeah, and you know, so many of, the, of these rounds were so close and could have been in Southfield's favor. That's like, what, two or three rounds even in that first half that should have been SBE. Same thing on Fine, but slips away from them due to the amazing clutch potential and just playmaking ability that everybody on Team Secret has. We saw multiple players stepping up. We saw Jesse Vash especially on that second map, but he had some great moments on the first map as well. Dispenser doing huge things, so did Dubstep on bind but here on haven more of the same these situations small slip up from south built is more than enough for team secret to punish over and over and over maybe a swing or two here or there could have changed the outcome of this especially in that first half when so many rounds that looked almost assuredly theirs the losing man advantage rounds has been one of the biggest problems here at south built when they're in a 3v2 3v4 but they're the ones with the man advantage Everything seems to crumble no matter which team they're up against and that cannot be true when you're up against a team like Team Secret.